Hello everyone, it's Incon Freak here and I'm back to review Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Uno. So guys, I just have to apologise for my lack of movie reviews. I think the last time I done a review was back in October. I think it was a little while before Halloween. But hey, it's coming up to Christmas. It's six days to be specific. And I just thought I'd get the reviews out. Unfortunately, I've only seen two movies at the cinema since October. I know it's hard to believe, but I think I'm going to have a lot of fun doing it. So today's review is going to be on Harry Potter and the Death of Elves Part 1, or should we just call it for short, HP7? That'll do. So, let's begin. Okay, so the basic plot to Harry Potter is basically Hermione, Harry and Ron, I don't know why I started with Hermione, basically they're on the run and their basic task is to defeat the Horcruxes, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't keep a straight face when I say that name, they have to defeat the Horcruxes in order to defeat Voldemort. But in order to do this they must kill out ha like, mostly all of them but in this film, since it's only the first part to it, we don't get to see the whole film. We only get to see like half a film. This movie doesn't even feel like a full movie, even though it's on for two and a half hours. Ending to this movie really leads you on. You really want to see the second film to it. Um, I think the second part's going to be actually great. I think, and I've heard some rumours about it, that it's just going to be completely action. Two and a half hours of action, that would be awesome. And to be honest with you guys, I actually really, really enjoyed this movie. Even though it was boring in some parts with mostly every scene, it, it, the movie itself was well paced, well balanced, it was just great. There was some suspenseful scenes in it. It was much more darker than I've actually noticed that. The, it's more darker than any other Harry Potter movies. I mean, it's like, in other Harry Potter movies, and I just have to get this out here, Hogwarts is all you see, but in this movie there is no sign of Hogwarts whatsoever, even though in the poster there is a Hogwarts in it. But unfortunately there's no Hogwarts, so if you're hoping to see Hogwarts, there is no Hogwarts. How many times do I need to say that? But yeah, to be honest with you, people have been saying that this is the best one so far, I have to disagree with that. I still believe that The Order of the Phoenix is the greatest movie, but this movie I have to say is probably the third best movie, and... Yeah, it was actually really, really entertaining. Now, the acting all round in this movie was actually fantastic. Daniel Radcliffe, his performance was actually really great in it. It wasn't as cheesy and as unprovoked as his other performance have been in other Harry Potter movies. He's much more older now, he's in his 20s and I think he's just more mature and he's just a great actor now. Emma Watson is doing very well as well. She's playing Hermione very well. She's not as this... Well, she still is, but in the, in the previous movies we see her main as a kind of soft spot for everything. But in this movie she's more devious and she's more reluctant to what's happening. Rupert Grint is actually really good in this movie, I think he's my favourite. Um, out of all the movies, I think he's just so funny and in this movie he's really mature and he's just really grown up looking and he's the tallest out of all of them, so it's pretty awesome. Even though the tallest doesn't define their characters, but Ron is just actually really good in this movie and I just think he'll be great in the second part, I really do, I believe it. The cinematography in this movie was absolutely beautiful, I mean the scenes were just so simplistic, I mean if you pick the more simplistic scenes it obviously turns out to be the most beautiful and it's just I'm sorry for if, if I'm repeating myself but it's beautiful. The cast into this movie we see a few new characters, they're actually really really good, they give a great performance and I'm sorry guys if I'm really repeating myself today but yeah the film all round is actually really really good. I'm really looking forward to the second part of this movie because I think it's just going to be completely awesome just playing down action and I'm really going to look forward to it. My dad personally believes that this is the best Harry Potter movie. I have to disagree. Like I said, it's the third greatest in my opinion. And yeah, I just had a lot of fun watching this movie. So guys, my overall rating for this movie is a 7 out of 10. I thought this movie was actually really, really good. So if you don't believe me, go and see it for yourself. Report back here and tell me what you thought of the movie. Leave comments in the comment box below and tell me what you thought of the movie. See you later, guys.